Greetings from Dystopia, episode 202. Just another day. Been out running errands and grocery shopping this morning. <clears throat> it is what it is. Today was an easy day, so I just added an extra lap around Walmart to get my distance out. Um, got a few questions revolving around episode 200 and then a random one. I'll do the random one first because it's the easiest. What happened to me selling my gear? Um, a friend of mine's been watching my posts and no gear sale. It's coming, it's coming. <laughs> In fact, I'll probably start listing some of it tonight. As I have been going through my gear and I find something, it's like, well, I'm not going to use this or it didn't work the way I wanted it to. There's nothing wrong with it. I've been throwing it in a two by two by two foot. I think I got it at Home Depot moving box. So there's tarps and rods and other stuff. And it's funny because it looks like a big beige and orange porcupine on the floor with the rods sticking out of the box. But yeah, I'll start listing that stuff up pretty soon. All right. Around episode 200. Are you going to change the name of the videos? In other words, will you no longer call them Greetings from Dystopia? <laughs> That's a good question. I haven't really thought about it. Um, I don't know what else I'd call it. Outdoors with Rick? I don't know. The wide world of outdoors? Hell, I don't know. If you got a suggestion, you know, if you think I should change it, comment up and let me know. I will... I mean, it will probably have to change sooner or later because the dystopia will either become a complete train wreck or life will go somewhat back to normal. <laughs> At that point, the name would no longer fit. So, yeah. Good point. Fair question. I haven't really thought about it. Why am I getting rid of the life blogging side? I am? <laughs> A viewer got kind of confused in episode 200 where I was talking about Tuesday being tech and how-to videos and stuff like that, and Thursday being outdoor videos, things outdoors, fishing, whatever. Um, I'm not getting rid of the life blogging stuff. Essentially, it's what I'm doing right now. Um, that took a couple exchanges back and forth, forth in messages to figure out what she was talking about, but... Um, not getting rid of it. This will, this type of stuff will still show up. Episode 200, continuing question. I couldn't help but laugh at the poor squirrel. Why are you so mean? Uh, <laughs> that was not intentional to make that squirrel jump. It was, oh, cool, squirrel, video, shoot video, shoot video. I start shooting video, and that's a floating canoe dock. It didn't dawn on me that I had blocked, effectively blocked, that squirrel's only way off of that pontoon. So I left the squirrel with no choice but to jump. Again, it was not intentional, um, but it did make for an interesting video, except I didn't catch it completely splashing in the water. <coughs> that would have been really cool to catch on video. But it did bring up the thing in my mind that I didn't know squirrels could swim. But then again, I'd never really put any thought to it. You always think of squirrels running around on the ground not, and climbing trees, not going through water. So that was a bit of a surprise, but a cool one. And I thought it made for an interesting video. The other question was on color grading. Did I color grade episode 200 or were those the natural colors? Those were the natural colors. Um, I did add some color grading to one episode. Maybe 198 or 199. It was the last visit out to Four Rivers. I did color grade that video. Normally I don't color grade video, so if you see a color, it's pretty much what it is in real life. 
Um, I had initially thought about color grading episode 200 to get the frame or the uh, video segments consistent in color. But I wanted to be able to show the difference in when the sun was out, when the sun was not out. So I opted just to leave it the colors as they were. So what you see is what you get with the wig on the color. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. All the errands are done except for this last one. I did have to stop to the house and drop off some cheese. I couldn't resist it. Um, Aldi has my favorite goat cheese back in stock, which is it's simply garlic and herb goat cheese. I love goat cheese, period. All of them. The garlic and herb in particular on eggs um, reminds me of a trip to Rota, Spain years ago. Um, I was stationed in Germany and I went on this trip with I don't remember how many people were on that trip. Six or eight people. It wasn't a huge group of people, but we hopped this MAC flight, Military Airlift Command, down to Rota. It was, I don't know, $39 for the flight or something ridiculously stupid cheap. And we went down with no plan. And we got there and we... One of the guys, his family is from somewhere not far from Rhoda, but beyond just the day of touring, you know. We were down there for four or five days, but they're like a half a day drive. Um, and it would have made it ridiculous to commute back and forth. So we got a essentially a bed and breakfast at a farmhouse right on the edge of Rhoda, not far from the airport. And we just kind of branched out from there. But the, in the mornings, that family made breakfast for us. And it was in like a giant paella pan. It was essentially shakshuka, if you're familiar with Mediterranean foods. It's tomatoes, eggs, vegetables, all of this up in, done up in a pan. But theirs used a grain of some type. I don't know what the grain was. Um, and then it was basically done up like shakshuka, but with big onions and olives. And, oh, it was flipping delicious. But they had covered the eggs and let it spill over onto the tomatoes with this herb goat cheese. And with the garlic in the meal, it was just phenomenal. Anyway, let me do this bank deposit. <laughs> okay, bank deposit's done. Mike's a little hot. But yeah, so they they served that and it little bits of buttery garlic bread or buttery crusty bread with garlic rubbed on it and then the garlic in there and then the herbed goat cheese and it's one of those flavors that's always popped in my head, you know. So yeah, that was really good. Anyway, <laughs> now all the errands are done. The bank deposit is done. Um, so yeah, that'll be pretty much it for today's video. I'm going to start working on the bench for another video release. will probably be next Tuesday. Um, one of the viewers that was following along with the Raspberry Pi builds has progressed along pretty well. And he's been following along with a build from Magpie Magazine of a home audio, home entertainment center slash controller built on that 7-inch touchscreen that I showed you guys the build of for my GPS mapping in the van. And he's used that same housing, everything, and added in an audio card, so a DAC, a digital audio converter. And he's having problems getting audio to work. So I will go back and start building that. And I'll sacrifice my GPS mapper, um, at least for now. <laughs> it's easy enough to revert. But uh, yeah, and get his build going. And who knows, it may be something I like. And Christy, here's your life blog post. You just got it. 
It kills me that that's the one thing somebody keyed in on is that I won't talk about myself anymore. But I do, and I will, to a certain extent. <laughs> I'll probably spend some time this weekend down near Morris, Illinois, just driving around looking around the farm fields. Because that's where I've seen the biggest murmurations outside of when I lived in Germany. We would get them routinely there in Germany. Um, you would just, you would look up and you would see this just dark cloud coming of European starlings. And there were tens of thousands of starlings in these groups. And it was just insane. If you've never seen a murmuration, it's pure magic. Actually, you have. You may not have seen it of birds, but you've seen schools of fish circling and then suddenly all turning the same direction. That's a murmuration, just like the birds do. And they're, they're worth going out of your way and spending a day driving in the country to see that. Again, I'm not a huge birder, but stuff like that just amazes me. Anyway, <laughs> we'll cut it right there. That's it for today, guys. Be good, be well. Wear a mask if you have to. Stay smart, be strong, stay mighty. Because you are mighty. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow.